It's only April, but already there's been hundreds of anti-LGBTQ plus bills introduced at state legislatures across the country, and most of them are anti-trans bills pertaining to banning school-aged children from participating in sports. We're talking middle school and high school age. Uh, but Kentucky is one of the states to enact a ban. Their governor, who is a Democrat, he vetoed this ban, but they overrode his veto. And I, I really think that Kentucky serves as an important example that demonstrates just how absurd these bans are. But first, let's get to the details here. This is according to Nico Lang of Extra Magazine, who writes, Kentucky lawmakers forced a trans sports ban through its legislature this week, despite the fact that there's only one known trans student athlete in the whole state. On April 13th, Kentucky state legislatures overrode an April 7th veto from Governor Andy Bashar, striking down a bill preventing trans girls from competing on middle and high school sports teams that align with their gender identity. In a statement, the Democratic governor said Senate Bill 83 most likely violates the equal protection rights afforded by the United States Constitution because it discriminates against transgender children seeking to participate in girls' or women's sports. Transgender children deserve public officials' efforts to demonstrate that they are valued members of our communities through compassion, kindness, and empathy even if not understanding, he wrote last week. But despite Bashir's veto, Republicans bypassed his objections with the simple majority of both houses of the legislature. The GOP controls a supermajority in both the Kentucky House and Senate, and the veto override passed easily in both 72 to 23 and 29 to 8, respectively. Supporters of SB 83 claim the legislation is about preserving the integrity of women's sports, which they claim is threatened by trans inclusion. So the way that these Republicans protect women's sports is enacting a statewide ban that would apply to just one child. Literally, there's one trans student in school sports throughout the whole state. So they actually comically believe that they're protecting sports. But that's not really what they believe. We all know that they don't care about school sports. They don't care about girls sports. This is about hate. This is about them otherizing trans people, making them second-class citizens, and even making children who are trans feel like shit. Now, ironically, they claim that they want to support women's sports or save women's sports, but this particular sport quite literally would not exist without the trans child who they just banned. Chris Hartman, executive director of the Fairness Campaign, says the only trans student athlete he is currently aware of is 12-year-old Fisher Wells, a middle school field hockey player. He worries that bills targeting trans youth create isolation and will prevent other students from feeling safe and comfortable being themselves. Wells, a student at Westport Middle School, testified against SB 83 before the Senate Education Committee in February. She helped kickstart the field hockey team at her Louisville school after there was no option for girls to play, but as a result of the transports ban, she will no longer be able to compete alongside her teammates. Now I'm going to play a video of her testimony where she explains how difficult it was to start this team in the first place because there was so little interest. But her and her friends, they created the sport and now um, she's banned because Republicans are terrible people who are just unnecessarily cruel. Like you're not protecting women's sports, obviously, but you see how cruel this is when you hear from this little girl herself. Let's watch. I'm Fisher Wells, and I would like to tell you my experience um, on the Westport girls field hockey team. Before, um, well, after COVID and we were just getting back in, the girls field hockey team barely existed. It was just a thing that Westport had that nobody joined because everybody wanted to play like volleyball or something. Um, but then uh, three people signed up. Uh, one of them was me, and I tried my very hardest to get the minimum amount of people for the team, and we got that. And on our first game, I got news that I couldn't play, and so I didn't play. I sat at home um, watching television, um, and then I got so many texts from my friends supporting me, and then, yeah, I got these wonderful pictures. We tied on that game. Barely, by the way, which was fun. Um, but later it was resolved, and then I started to find out how disgusting the reason I couldn't play was. And I have made a ton of...
very nice friends on this team, and we've had a fun time. Um, in one game, the ball rolled up one of my teammates' skirts. Her face described it all. <laughs> it was very funny. Um, and I just have made so many friends, and me and my friends have started playing on a league at the YMCA, and that has been extremely fun. We even won our second game. Um, we've lost a lot of games. But that was because we were mostly new to the sport, and we were all getting invested in this really awesome sport that is just really fun. Uh, it taught us how to be sportsmanlike and very calm about things. I really don't want this bill to pass because that means I can't play, and it will be extremely detrimental to my mental health as well. Um, because I know that sports is a great way for me to cope with things. Like, it's just a good way for me to cope with things. Um, and it's why I recovered so very quickly from not being able to play. Because later, like a few days later, I found out I could play. And I was able to play and have fun. And, like, every, like, my coach was crying. Like, she was like, oh my god, Fisher. Um... I just, it's disgusting that this bill is even suggested. It's terrible. And I've worked really hard and practiced so many hours. Um, I hope you don't vote on this bill, and I hope I can play in eighth grade. Thank you. Thank you for your testimony. I'm so sorry, little girl, but we have to protect this sports team that you helped create by banning you from it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's just so ridiculous. And for all this talk of protecting children that we've heard from the GOP and their propagandists, does this bill make children any safer? I don't think that this one trans child is going to feel any safer. I don't think her friends are going to feel safer. In fact, her friends want to play with her. But you say, no, you hear her with your own ears testify saying this helps me cope. This helps me with mental health. And still knowing this applies to one child choose to not just pass this bill but override the governor's veto in other states like in arkansas anti-trans governors they have realized okay maybe these sports bans go too far because there's not really any high school athletes who are trans i mean we have like 12 trans kids that we know of throughout the state and i don't know if any of them are playing sports so this seems a little bit ridiculous so even transphobes sometimes will recognize how ridiculous this is but the Kentucky legislature overwhelmingly said, yeah, we have to ban this one kid from playing hockey because we're protecting women's sports. And for all this talk of protecting women's sports, how many of these uh, lawmakers helped create sports teams for women? Like helped facilitate the creation of, entire, uh, of an entire new category of a sport at a particular middle school or high school. Have they have they done that? This little girl has done more for female sports than anyone in that legislature. But they banned her from participating. When this law takes effect in July, she won't be able to play in the sport that she helped create. How ridiculous is this? How ridiculous is this? So, I mean, I don't know what to say. When it comes to middle school and high school sports, this is quite literally just about socialization i mean these kids are playing sports and they probably don't even understand the sports half the time right when i was in elementary school like i played sports uh you know in in pe and whatnot but i wasn't very athletic i didn't know you know the rules and stuff it's about socialization it's about hanging out with your friends and having fun and it's apparent that this helped her but because these bigots these disgusting vile transphobes uh want to win an election they're using this one trans child as a red meat to throw to the base throwing this one 12 year old under the bus i mean for a lot of trans kids really middle school and high school to them more so than anything is about existence right just existing and surviving these cruel times when children are usually cruel but you know you know sometimes trans kids they end up enjoying sports and that's really good we should applaud them Right. We should be happy and celebrate the fact that this girl has confidence and, you know, she has 
loving parents who encourage her to do what she wants, pursue her interests. But, you know, because of this nationwide effort to ban, to ban uh, high schoolers from sports, how many trans kids who wanted to participate in school sports with their friends will now feel as if they don't want to do that because of this bigoted push, because they might become targets as Fisher Wells is. It, it's just, it's gross. So I don't want to hear anything about protecting children from the GOP or anyone who votes for the GOP, because it's very clear that you don't just not care about protecting children, but the policies that you support are actively harming children. This is proof of that.